Good afternoon, everyone. It's my pleasure to share our work on combining the molecules accounts in Web3 scans through the blockchain analysis. I'm Wen Kai Li from Hanan University. Today, I will explore how we develop the, the scam sweeper, a novel approach to detect the scam accounts in the rapidly evolving Web3 ecosystem. First of all, let me give you a, give a quick in, introduction to our team. I'm a first year PhD student in a sophisticated and experienced team in the blockchain security, especially on the Ethereum. In the, five, uh, in the recent five years, we have shared our work in various top academic conferences and won a series of, a series of awards and high citations due to the peer recognition. Furthermore, as a, as a team in the security field, we also applied for more than 30, 30 vulnerability IDs from the CVE and the CNVD. As for today's work, Talk, I will I will divide it into five parts, demonstrating the details of our work. So, in the first part, let's start with understanding our battlefield the Web three. In in this part, uh, I will mainly introduce the following questions: What is the Web three? How can we get access to Web three? And uh, what's the most used uh, what's the most used the Web three uh, services? Regarding to the first question, the Web3, also called the third generation of the internet, is a paradigm shift which, prom which promises a decentralized future based on the blockchain technology. For the second question, there are so many ways to access the Web3 ecosystem. For example, the NFT marketplaces that trade, that trade NFTs, DeFi protocols such as the DEX, uh, we know the decentralized exchanges and the metaverse platforms such as the decentralized decentralized housing wars and meta and then the third question about according to the web3 statistics from the global market insights the finance and the crypto gaming industry is uh, accounts for the most of market size among them, the most relevant classification for the financial aspects are the DEX and the SEX. We know the decentralized exchanges and the centralized exchanges, which involves the assets in the real world. You can imagine when we wander in the uh, metaverse, uh, it's a such a virtual world rich in high-tech elements. It's a marvelous form of recreation. Actually, there was still lots of work uh, it still works like a, like a charm for lots of people. So what is the current state of the uh, Web3 markets? Uh, we can see from uh, the data from the Grand Wheel Research. Web3 market has grown to a $3.17 billion value by 2024, and it shows a growing trend with the increased growth rate. It's driven by the breakthroughs in the decentralized applications, DeFi protocols, and decentralized identifier systems. So uh, to see the blockchain status, we built a network structure for the Ethereum blockchain with uh, accounts, uh, account addresses as uh, nodes and the transactions as ages, and drew a degree frequency graph as shown in the slide. We can see that there are, there are fewer nodes with low, de uh, low degree and high frequency, and the more nodes with high degree and low frequency, which indicates a uh, few nodes are dominant. The reason for this meaning uh, is that high degree nodes are usually exchanges. Uh, resp they are responsible for large transactions. The lower degree nodes are usually the ordinary users and tend to trade small amounts and the high frequencies. Thus, if some core nodes suffers from the scam risk, it still affects the most nodes in the network. So the next part is why we aim to the Web3 scams. Scams in Web3 today are sophisticated. For example, typically in the phishing scams, the attacker directs the users to a designed medium to steal the user's tokens. Recently, some, scam, some scammers have used the drain package to mock out the pockets and still use sensitive information for profit. 
In addition to this, there are some frustrators such as uh, airdrop and giveaway scams who, who still use sensitive information by promising their benefits. These frauds on blockchain have resulted in sensitive losses with over $500 million strand in a year as measured by the Infosecurity magazine. Moreover, scams never re reported over $490 million have lost due to the phishing scam. Although crypto generators and phishing essentially rely on tricking users into asserting token transfer rights to attackers, they have different behaviors, whether on-chain or off-chain. In my perspective, crypto generators look, looks more like an advanced approach. They often do this by building a service provider and then interpreting the delivery of the service with a scam behavior. We have showed the two examples uh, with the uh, graph nodes. We set the accounts as the nodes and the transactions as ages. The length of the age is inversely potential to the transaction amount. What we can find that is that not only the more, the more complex behavior patterns of chain, but also a clear destiny gap in the on-chain transaction graph. So previous researchers use graph learning methods to detect the existing of phishing and other scam accounts in the blockchain. These methods are techno uh, technically based on the top K or the random work algorithm. And in fact, we, we know that the graph natural network algorithms such as the GSN or GAT, use, uh, they use multi-hop to learn the features in the graph. But due to the Ethereum's low uh, power load distribution and the large uh, transaction network, each hub introduces a lot of noise and requires much less to fully learn in the feature. So to address about limitations of graph learning methods, there are also methods that use sequential learning methods, where all transactions of a certain account are learned in a temporal order it learns transactions one by one, resulting in high time and the resources consumption when the number of transactions uh, in account is, is large. However, the Ethereum now has 2.7 billion transactions. And some accounts own over million level transactions. As shown in the table one, we collect some active accounts on Ethereum the transaction amount is higher than 1 million. In summary, the graph methods introduce losses and cannot capture the dynamic feature, especially for the power law distribution of the season. Graph learning method, uh, method will be limited by certain time hops. The sequence learning methods can learn the logic of an attacker, but cannot handle massive transaction volumes with less consumption. Thus, to capture the dynamic evolution feature and handle large-scale transactions, we propose a scam sweeper. The main, thought, the main thought of the scam sweeper is combining the sequence and the graph methods, learning the sequential feature from the graph net network. Uh, the, framework has contain, uh, the framework contains four parts. First, we try to call the data from the either scan, Ethereum, and GitHub to construct a transaction network. The accounts and nodes and the transaction as age. Second, we use a sampling method to simplify the network and, and split, split the graph into several subgraphs according to the temporal series. Then with a, with a graph method to learn each subgraph feature, constructing a formed feature matrix. So through the sequence learning, we can capture the sequence feature, capturing the dynamic evolution feature from the accounts. Finally, we use a simple conventional method to make a classification. Uh, so in the first part, the graph con construction, previous works of often use random work to get the sample transaction graph. Uh, as we all know, the, the random work is just like a dice game. The key goal of the random work is random. 
Every step you work depends on the number you get. The attribute equal method maintains the structure feature, lowering the computing, uh, computing resources all the time. But as for detecting a specific category is not enough, we should consider more temporal attributes. Therefore, we designed a novel type of render work method, uh, the structure temporal render work, straw work. And the straw work uh, contains two, two key steps. In the first step for node VI, we take the proportion of the time gap in sum as a probability PI and use the alien sample sampling method to select the next node VI plus one. In the, in the subsequent step two, we take the inverse ratio of the number of neighborhoods of VI plus one and the probability PM. The sub-network is obtained by the alien sampling. If there is this step two, the sampling method is called the straw work. They both con con consider the structure and the temporal work. And, they, and they, if there then not exist the step two, then the method is called the draw work. To represent our advantage over other random work methods, we take the random work and the deep work methods and uh, embedded them into the scam sweeper at the same time with the uh, draw work and straw work. This node, this node features are then visualized by the T-Shine method on the fishing dataset. And we can see the, the draw work and the straw work methods can dis distinguish two types well, and the straw work can segment almost linearly. This shows that our straw work method does have better results. In the second part, we cut the sample network open, op opened by the straw work in the time intervals. For each of the cut subgraphs, the transactions are sorted by time and the uh, uh, direct node and the age re representation is obtained according to the direction of the transactions. Then, the graph learning algorithm is used to obtain the features of the directed graph. This is a concrete example of, the, of a subgraph, subgraph, which is an ego network with the node 2 as a core node. We first get all the edges and nodes, then align the nodes and its connected edges, constructing the feature of their nodes. And finally, through the graph natural network, extracting the feature of the subnetwork. The key, the lucky rule is used to align the nodes and the edges and get the hidden state of the, of the nodes. Then we continue to align the two connected nodes with, same, with the same direction of the edge to represent the di directed edge and computes the important score of the of each age. Finally, we get the directed feature of the whole graph. After getting all the subgraph features, we still sort them in the ordinary time order and use the variation transform structure to extract the features on the time. The, the structure only contains the self attention and the feed forward natural neural network layer then we can capture the dynamic evolution feature of the graph. Then I will show some experiments that we have done to show the ability of the scam sweeper. Uh, as for evaluating the large scale data on the blockchain, we call, those, we call the data on the first 18 million, 18 million block heights on the Ethereum which is one of the largest data sets showing the research we know. After labeling the core data with the help of EtherScan and the scam sniffer, the EtherScan, which is one of the most used public Ethereum blockchain browser, contains a label cloud model that, that, that collects seeds of accounts tabs. Scam Sniffer is a research institute targeted to the Web3 scams, where we can select the scams around the Web3 and label the 
relate the kind of addresses. So we, we said the exchanges mining ICO wallets and gambling accounts as normal accounts. To show the feature of these three types of accounts, we draw, we draw a distribution about the frequency and the degree. At the readout, we can find that the verb three scans the verb three scams dis distinguish the in and out degrees, indicating the directed feature can be useful in the classification. The scam sweep uh, the scam sweeper is mainly content with the graph encoder and the variation transformer structure we call the T transformer here. Under the evolution with the F1 score and the weighted F1 score, we can find that both of two models are available for the classification. Moreover, the graph encoder weighs higher than the T transformer. Compared to the compared to the graph methods and the transformer methods that have been leveraged in many types of research work. We first use the straw work samples and network, and then used used for the uh, evaluation. Under the accuracy F1 score, pre precision and recall, you can see that the scam sweeper always outperform other methods. And in this part, we will show the details, which means the dynamic evolution in the Web3 scan that Scam Sweeper has detected. Uh, all this data from uh, in this case is viewed on the on-chain on-chain data, not contain any off-chain data. We visualize the relevant transactions for Web3 scan accounts and show the transaction pattern it takes with the uh, straw work. The time interval says says one day. In the beginning. The first two days, an account interacts with many other accounts in a short period of time. And then the transaction amount begins to decrease when the interaction between the attacker and the victims are carried out to steal. After stealing, scammers start to mimic the normal regularity. In addition, in order to prevent the decrease of transaction volume from uh, downtown caused by the DOS attacks, we check the subsequent transaction addresses. We find that addresses are almost inconsistent with previous transactions, suggesting that users who have been previously subjected to fraud do not choose to trust the service provider continually. So in summary, the Web3 growth is shadowed by, uh, by taking the scams that exploit the transaction network vulnerabilities, mimicking uh, activities through the temporal patterns. Current, current detection systems fail to address two critical dimensions. The first, the temporal, the temporal dynamic of scam and the structure in power distribution transaction networks. This is what Scam Sweeper framework introduces. First, we uh, our structured temperature random, random work algorithm enables efficient sampling of high-risk transaction passes while preserving temporal dependencies. Second, we introduce the variation trans transformers to model dynamic relationship evolution, capturing both structural changes and temporal sequence patterns by bridging the temporal dynamics and the structure analysis, Scam Sweeper provides the first comprehensive solution to the Web3 unicode fraud detection challenges. Uh, thank you. My presentation is over.